Melissa Hernandez here, and today I'm gonna walk you through a 70s cut crease with a modern twist. I'm gonna be going in with the Pixie by Petra Endlessly Silk Eye Pencil in the shade Black Caviar. I'm gonna slightly tilt my head back to find my crease, and I'm slowly gonna start tracing out my crease. So I'm just kind of doing a really rounded crease here, and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the corner of my brow. Now that I have the crease nice and carved out, I'm gonna take a small pencil brush and I'm just slowly gonna start blending out the edges just so that we get a more diffused finish. To further diffuse the liner that we just laid down, I'm gonna go in with the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. And this palette is beautiful because it has a nice cool tone shade that's gonna work perfectly as a transition. Now I took this small flat shader brush, I soaked it in micellar water. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch it to just take any excess off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly start sketching right underneath the crease area and this is gonna help get a more refined line under here. What I do is I just keep pinching the brush to make sure to remove any unwanted pigment and I'm just gonna keep carving this out here. Now that we've carved out our crease, I'm gonna jump back into the Zoeva palette and I'm gonna pick up this bone colored shade in Bitter Start. Really pack that all over the lid up until that liner point. And I'm just using little tiny tapping motions as this is gonna give us maximum color payoff. Going back in with the Pixie by Petra liner, I'm gonna start slowly drawing a small wing. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the center point where my eye splits, and I'm just going to start creating a small line, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it inward towards the inner eye. This is just gonna give our eye a little bit of a lift. To create the illusion of bigger eyes and to really get that doe eyed effect, I'm gonna line my waterline with a little bit of white eyeliner. Picking up the Zoeva palette once more and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here and I'm just gonna use that color to slowly start stamping it underneath my lower lash line. To create a little bit more dimension in our crease, I'm gonna jump into Substitute for Love, which is this really pretty warm shade here and I'm just using a fluffy blending brush and I'm slowly just gonna graze that right over the crease. And this is just gonna help everything blend seamlessly and it's gonna make it look much more cohesive. I'm gonna go in with two to three coats of Big Ego Mascara by Tarte. And this is such a perfect wand because it's gonna give us that really doe-eyed dramatic lash effect. And what I like to do is I like to start at the base of the root and just wiggle my way upward. And this is gonna ensure that every single lash is nice and coated. If you're like me and you're messy when it comes to applying mascara, what I like to do is just let it dry completely. So maybe wait two to three minutes and then I go in with a completely dry Q-tip and I literally just kind of nick it off. I just do like a little twirly motion and it will slowly buff out. To finish off the eye, I'm gonna go in with a couple coats of mascara on my lower lashes. And here you want to apply heavily because this is what's really gonna give us that retro 70s lash look. And that completes today's look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely give this mod 70s look a try. It's a lot easier than it looks.